like, wouldn't it be cool to be able to go out into your own yard and pick fruit from your own trees? Yes, that would be wonderful. Well, you know, here at Nature's Touch Nursery and Harvest, we can make that happen for you with the help of North County Trees. Tell me more, Melanie. Well, you know, we have awesome stock in, in stock right now. We have apples, peaches, apricots, plums, blue ops, pears, and literally they're old enough to fruit and produce this year. You can just walk through the nursery and pick fruit right now. That's wonderful. Why don't you show us some more? Hey, Melanie, what are these over here? These are wonderful pomegranates. They're in five gallons. They're old enough to produce for you this year as well. I mean, pomegranates are beautiful. Not only do they produce a beautiful red flower, they produce a ton of nectar for bees. They also produce an awesome fruit that is harvested in usually about October, November, and when all the other fruit trees are done. And you can actually eat pomegranates all in the bush, too. So they get that first frost, it helps them split, which is a lot easier. And if I don't want five gallon like these, do you have anything smaller? Oh, that's right. They're right here. What other um, fruiting or edible plants do you have here? Since we're talking shrubs, you know, we went from the pomegranate. Now we're going to talk about another awesome shrub. Tolerant, and when I say kind of, you get it well established, and it doesn't want any summer irrigation. And all it does is produce a ton of flower and a ton of berry, and that's the elderberry. True California native, but also the flower is usable. I have a company called Carmel, Be uh, Carmel Berry Company that's making a cordial from their flower, as well as a syrup. And so you can come in and sample what you could be growing and having in your own yard from a company like that, that you can actually do it at home yourself. Elderberries also make an awesome jam, but, you know, syrup, juice, also it's very medicinal as well, too. You know, it's kind of fun to not only do, you know, edibles in your landscape, but beneficials as well. Also produces a ton of nectar for bees. Awesome. Hey, Melanie, what are these gorgeous plants? Well, that's funny that you should admire these. These are lilacs, a true antique vintage flower, um, hardy shrub, beautiful. Yes, they are deciduous. They will drop their leaves in the winter, but you know what? It is worth it because early spring, usually about May, March, April, they bloom incredibly beautiful. The ones you're looking at right here produce a white flower, which is very rare, true old vintage. The other shaped foliage that's over right next to you there is a purple flower with also, it kind of gets a little bit deeper purple foliage. These guys can, you know, grow very large. Also, another very drought tolerant shrub. Once they're established, they don't want any irrigation. And the colder the winter we have, the more they're going to bloom the next spring. That's it's a, just win-win. That's amazing. Where are those buffalo berries? Oh, here's the buffalo berries. Um, I just, I don't see any little buffaloes though, Melanie. It's funny that you should say that. You know, this is a true Western United States native. So I'm sure that whoever gave it its name, buffalo berry, they're probably somewhere out on the range. You know, there was a buffalo there somewhere or another and hanging out next to that bush. Aha, uh -huh. so they Does don't they... grow buffaloes. No, not in California they don't, you know, but at the same time they're, Another drought tolerant shrub that gives you this bluish silver foliage, incredibly beautiful blue flower, and it also does berry as well. Um, edible, just hardy, drought tolerant, easy to grow, and you know, again, beneficial to bees. So it seems like we have so much here at Nature's Touch Nursery that people should just come on down and check it out. What's the address again? 225 South Main Street on the corner of 3rd and Main Street in beautiful downtown Templeton. Awesome. We'll see you soon.